friends, how are you all today? My name is Sitika and welcome to my channel Sitika's Toys and Tales. So today I have a Flinter Box for you. It's the September month Flinter Box. It's for 6 to 8 years old and the theme is Magnificent Machines. This is gonna be really interesting. See? Now let's open it. All the stuff in here. So much. Let's see now what's inside. This is the information cards. Here they're written which activities are there. First one is catapult play. Next is mechanical clock. Next is mini hand pump. And the last one is building a tree house. I'm most excited about the tree house. Oh, what's this? Here it says building a tree house. And this is a book. Oh, I think the building a tree house activity is the book. It's a story book. Wow, there's coloring pages inside here. And this is... These are bonus worksheets with bonus activities. Colorful clock, I think we need to color it in here. Now let's see what's inside here. This is the first activity. Catapult play. This is our second activity. Me mechanical clock. This is the... Our third activity, mini hand pump. The filter box is empty. Now let's see the activities. First, let's start with our first activity. The first activity is catapult play. These are the materials. We took out all the things from inside and now this is empty. This is, um, these are the cuttings. Let's begin the activity now. This activity is about assemble a catapult, play and explore the concept of pulley and lever. Friends, do you know what a catapult is? I don't know. According to the information card, it looks something like this. Maybe it's a kind of shooter. And on the back of this instruction card, there is some information about the catapult. Let me share some with you. The catapult was used as a war weapon before the guns and cannons were invented. A catapult is a simple machine with a pulley and a lever. Now let's try and make it. So the first step is to put, use this and put the trigger holders in it. This is how it looks. Now we need to put this T-lock here. See? It moves. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I think this is to lock it. That's why it's, it's like a T-shape. So it's a T-lock. T-lock. Next one, we need to insert the hook in this hole here. Okay, so I put it, it looked like this. Now it says put the short T-lock below the hook. Let's put this. Okay, I put it. So it needs to be like this attached here. Oh. And this is how it looks and it's a little heavy. Now let's move to the next step. It says we need to take these. Oops. So sticky. So we have to put this on the base. I think because so that the base would not move. And this is how it looks now. Oh yeah it is so it doesn't move. Now it says we need to take this trigger and put it between these using the shaft 
throw them. Now oh, let's empty this pack. Everything is rolling. So this is how it looks. It moves. Let's see. Looks like a duck. See. We need to take this and put it on the here. This is how it looks now. Now it says we need to take this, put it here, take this jewel. We need to put it like this. But I think it's the wrong direction. It needs to be like this. We need to keep this here. Put a rubber band through the catapult arm. Okay, so I put it. I think we have to attach it on the hook. Wow, this already looks like a machine. And we can use this to hold it so it doesn't go because of the rubber band. Now it says we need to take these out. Okay. Okay, so we need to put this here. Now the machine is ready and targets are ready. To launch the ball, I just have to pull it like that. Even before I even thought, um, want it to come. Let's try it one more time with the other ball. One, two, three. Such a nice machine. Wow. So friends, did you like this activity? I liked it very much. It was so fun. Now let's move on to the next one. So the second activity is mechanical clock. And all of them came out at once because of the big things. But some of them. These are the ingredients. Now let's start the activity. This activity is about assemble a mechanical clock and observe how the gears work. Learn to tell time. Oh, I think this is nice. I don't know how to see the time. Maybe I'll learn today. Let's start it. First it says take this and take the back panel. Put it like this. This in, put this in here. Next we need to put the small gear. Like this. Oh, this is so hard. Now it says we need to take this one. Put it in here. One is small, one is okay and one is big. What is that? Now we need to take the front panel and put it here. Uh, it's, now it looks like this and the gears are inside. This is too mechanical. So now we need to take the side panels. We need to take the side panels out of here. And we need to attach them here. So friends, we have put in the side panels and this is how it looks. Okay, next it says take this uh, dial sticker. You can't see the numbers. Now it says take the small hour hand. Which here? Now we need to take this one. Now 
Let's make it 12 o'clock. Next, rotate the compound gear from the top and observe the movement of the hour hand and the minute hand. The minute hand moves faster than the hour hand. Observe the hour hand move one hour when the minute hand completes one round. Let's try. See? Boom, 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 boom. Wow, I can't believe we just made a clock. We have made the clock. Now the next part of this activity is telling the time. So we need to take these. Pop all these things out. First let's fix these hands. I have fixed the paper hands on this paper clock using the rivets. Next it says the inner dial on the chart shows the hours and the outer dial shows the minutes. Oh yeah, here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the hours and here is the minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20 and the other ones. Friends, do you see numbers 1 to 12 in the pink circle? Those are the hours. The numbers in the blue circles are the minutes. Those are 0 to 60. Friends, do you know? 60 minutes makes an hour. Suppose the clock is like this. Can you tell the, what the time is? I think as the red hand is on the 9, it is 9 o'clock. And as the blue hand is on 30, it is 30 minutes. It is 9.30 right now on the clock. So this is our third activity. Mini hand pump. I hope there doesn't come any water from this hand pump. I think I'll turn into plumber with this. So these are the things we got. Let's see what are they. Let's uh, empty these packets so we can see all of them. First, pump tube, zip ties, big foam stopper, disc valve, this one, stickers, T-joint. Oh, this looks like plumber thing. Maybe we'll become plumbers today. A collector, this is also like a plumber thing. Thin valve, this one, small Foam stopper, this one it's a tiny upper limit foam, this one and thick valve. And this is the dowel. This is so big. This activity is about assemble a mini hand pump by ex and explore how the water is pumped out. Let's try and assemble it now. First it takes Let's take one of these and, and point it out. Okay, it's done. And now we will cut the excess using a scissor. Now it says put the this in. Now the thin one. Thin walls in here. This is so easy to put. Now we need to put this thing, but it doesn't fit. Now we need another zip tie. So it looks like this now. Boom, boom, boom. Now let's cut the excess out of this too. So the next step is we need to take the tube and put the stickers on it. take this thing now we need to take the collector and put this in here see I put it in we need to put this on the tube see it looks a little 
little bit like the um, rain stick that I made in my last filter box video. Let's put this inside it. Now it's saying us to do. It's not going inside the hole properly. Next it says take this. Put one, one thing on he, here. Now we put the stoppers on both sides. We need to put the big side here like this. This is how it looks right now. Friends, this is not easy. This is really difficult. But I'm still having a lot of fun because I've never done such things before. And I'm learning a lot. Now we need water. Let's try it now. Here I have two containers. This is full of water and this is empty. It says we need to put the mini hand pump in like this. We have to pull this up. Oh, it's so hard. Can you see the water is coming up? Let me stand up for this activity. Let's do it again. I think I need mama's help for this. such a mess maker so friends these were the three activities of this month's splinter box i had a lot of fun with this splinter box and i also made three different machines i loved all three of them and they were so interesting to do which one did you like the best write in the comment section and if you like this video click on the like like button and subscribe to my channel okay bye